Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about my monthly favorites, uh, quarantine favorites, we'll go April and May favorites. So I am in Northern California and we have been on um, the stay at home orders basically since mid-March um, and so it's now June 2nd. Um, and things have lifted up a little bit, but today I just thought it would be kind of fun to talk about the things that I've been loving during this quarantine with the um, coronavirus pandemic. Um, it's, you know, I've been fortunate to have my husband and I both be able to work from home and our kiddos are little. And so we've been all home together and there's just been some things that I've been loving that have kind of gotten me through this crazy time of um, being confined to our home. So let's get into it. First, I wanted to start with um, this really sweet subscription service. Um, somebody reached out to me to talk about, it's called Mint Mongoose, and it's, um, it's a jewelry subscription service, and I just think it's really cool because it's a mama who lives in California, and she's a small business owner, and I'm all about supporting small businesses. So I wanted to share with you about this. So you get, um, I'm gonna look at my notes here to make sure I don't forget anything, because I wanna make sure that I share everything about the business. Super good price, first of all, $15.99 per month um, for the subscription. And you get a pair of earrings, a necklace, and um, like a ring or a bracelet. If you don't want earrings, you could swap it out for something um, if you're like particular about your earrings. But you can customize the box as far as the color. So you can select if you want it to be gold, rose gold, or silver for the jewelry. And the thing that's really cool about this subscription service for jewelry that I think is different than a lot of them that I've seen is that she creates jewelry with a purpose. And so like every month's collection, she has something meaningful behind it. So for example, this month, um, she sent me the May jewelry and it the, the meaning behind it was flowers. And she's always found that flowers have helped to get her through through hard times and May is like the month of flowers and so her jewelry this month was inspired by flowers which I think is super sweet so um so it comes in this really fun envelope again it's $15.99 for a month she's gonna have um she gave me a code so you get 50% off your first month um which makes it a crazy good deal and um it supports a small business so if you like jewelry subscription services I would definitely check her out um I just got this yesterday actually and I opened it and my husband was so impressed because um, I was like look how sweet this is and he was like oh my god that's so so cool so here are the earrings super sweet just dainty delicate little white flowers and then um, it came packaged in this little envelope let me show you here dropping the box and then this really sweet um, necklace as well, which has the same flowers as the earrings. And I love this necklace because you can really layer it. So like, I would even layer it with the necklace that I'm wearing now, just for the mixed metals look. The necklace I have on right now is gold, but um, really pretty. I, I asked her to send me a silver chain and it has the little white flowers. So again, a matching necklace. And then um, she sent me this ring. And the ring is adjustable. So let's open it. So the ring is adjustable. You can make it fit on your finger, um, but it feels just like really nice, good quality. And again, so sweet, $15.99, three pieces of jewelry. You can easily skip a month if you need to. Um, when you order your first box, it's shipped within 48 hours. And then after that, it's every month on the 15th. Um, so definitely Mint Mongoose, I'll post the website down below, as well as the, um, the code to get your percentage off and then every three months she also sends a little sweet gift like a pair of fun socks or a pair of sunglasses or something so I just love the concept and again she's a, a a mama who is a small business owner okay what else have I been loving so first off I've been loving this it's called in the sun it's a sand and sea salt body scrub with coconut oil it's from Bath and Body Works and oh there was water <laughs> it smells so so good um, and it, it, it's really gritty, it has sand in it. And the scent notes here are sunkissed neroli, sparkling orange flower, and bronzed sandalwood. It gives a super good exfoliation. It smells delicious. It's not really tropical, but it reminds you of being at the beach. And I love it. So 
I'm hoping that Bath and Body Works will have their semi-annual sale with all the craziness that's happening. If they do, I'll, be, I'll definitely be looking for some of this. And I would purchase this even if it wasn't at a semi-annual sale. I wouldn't pay full price for it, but I would use a coupon or something to buy it. So I love this. Check it out if you like body scrubs. The next thing I've been loving is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. Now, it still looks like there's a ton left in here, and there is, but I've used this probably a dozen times, and I just dip my finger in and then just put a thin layer on my face. So you can use this mask a few different ways. You can either put um, a thick layer and then rinse it off, or you can just put a thin layer and then sleep with it and wash your face in the morning like you normally would, and that's what I've been doing, and I love it. It just leaves this really beautiful glow to your skin, and it smells like watermelon. So it's super fun for this time of year. And I found that being home so much right now, I've had a little more time for pampering, um, which I've been loving, of course. So there's that. The next thing that I've been loving is something that I heard Michelle, is it Michelle1218? Is that her channel? I'll, I'll link her below. But um, she has talked about this for the longest time, and it's in all of her like Sephora VIB wishlist videos. It's the Sycopair, Psychopair Derma Green Solution Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. Now, I got it because she just spoke so highly of it. She talked about how it um, reduced the redness in her skin, that sometimes she'll put this on and not have to wear any makeup. There's like makeup on the lid here. But it's just like a green solution, which seems so weird. And when I first started using it, I was kind of like, mm, I don't really get it. I don't get the hype, I probably won't repurchase it. It's kind of expensive, well, it's really expensive. It's like $54. But the more that I've used it, like I just love how it makes my makeup look so much better throughout the day. Um, yeah, so I love it. There's SPF 30, so it acts as your SPF as well. I've used almost the entire jar. I'm gonna have to purchase another one. I like it that much. I'm gonna try the, um, uh, what is the name of it? What is the name? I'm gonna talk about it here in a video in a second because I just purchased it. Um, let me see if it's down here. I'm gonna be recording several videos because I have my husband and kiddos out in our camping trailer so I can have time to record. So um, why can I not remember the name of it? Anyway, I'm gonna try something that's similar to this. It's still kind of pricey, not as pricey. Um, you'll have to watch some of my newest videos to figure out what product I'm talking about. But anyway, I will for sure purchase this again because I love it that much, even if I, Paula's Choice, that's what it is, the Paula's Choice with the SPF, um, and it's kind of a primer. So I'm gonna purchase that again. I've been loving that. I wear it every day. Another thing I've been loving are these One Protein Bars. So we have them in the blueberry flavor, the peanut butter cup flavor, and then um, the brownie flavor. And I feel like we've had like a cookie flavor or something before. We have three flavors right now, and it's the second time I've ordered them. You order them online, and there's eight grams of fat per bar, but there's only one gram of sugar. So 220 calories. They're just so tasty, and they fill you up. They're one of the best protein bars. These and the Built Bars are probably my favorite protein bars of all time. Um, so they're really good. Check them out if you're looking for a good protein bar. The next thing I've been loving, I have so many things, so I'm really excited to talk about all these things. So, next thing, the Yeti cups. There's two kind of two kind of things I wanna talk about here. So, Yeti, love it, keeps your drink super hot or super cold. I love this like coffee cup size for our camping trailer and even at home, like I usually get up at five in the morning with my two year old and give him a bottle, snuggle him, he falls back asleep on me, and it's my time to like enjoy my coffee in the morning. And I love my coffee when it's hot, hot or iced. And so I love putting it in this cup because it stays really hot for an hour and a half. And I don't know, it just makes it more enjoyable for me. So I love these Yeti cups, but for Mother's Day, my um, husband and kiddos got me this color, which I haven't taken the wrapper off yet because I put it in a pile to record. Um, so I'm excited to actually use it. But I love this coral color, super fun. Um, we love Yeti cups in our house, and I have this like kind of Tiffany blue. This style is really great. So we've just gone crazy on Yeti cups. We love them. So if you haven't tried a Yeti, try one. 
Another thing I've been loving is I, so because I've been able to work from home, I've had a lot of Zoom calls every day and um, have not necessarily been loving that, but I've been loving that I can wear just like yoga pants on the bottom and be a little bit more professional on top. And one thing that's been helpful for that are these cardigans. So these are from Nordstrom and they're the brand Bo Bobo, Bobo, it's B-O-B-E-A-U. Um, and so that's the brand. And they're just so like stretchy and soft and cozy. So I have this black and white one. They have pockets in them as well and they're longer. So they go down to just like, just past my butt and their pockets right here. And then I have just a plain black one as well. But you can make this look really professional with even just like a, um, like a camisole. And um, camisole, is that the word? Like a stretchy tank top. And then like a nice necklace, some earrings, whatever, one of these. You look pulled together and it's so comfortable. People have no idea that you're wearing loungewear. So I've been loving these. Again, you can get them at Nordstrom. I have it in the striped and in the black. I've been wearing them a lot. Um, the next thing I've been loving are looking through my cookbooks. Again, I've had so much more time recently being home that I've really gotten to enjoy reading my cookbooks and cooking new recipes. Like when I, I work outside of the home typically and I work until 4.35 every day. And so by the time you get home and you start dinner, it's just so late. So you kind of have your go-tos that you're constantly cooking that are easy, that are quick, um, feed the kids, get them to bed, that kind of thing. But being home, I'm able to like start dinner at three or throw something in the crock pot at nine or whatever that is gonna look like for the day. So um, I've been loving the Magnolia Table Cookbooks. I had the first one and then um, my husband got me this, uh, the second, the newest one as well for Mother's Day. So love, been loving Joanna Gaines and her Magnolia Homes recipes as well as this is, I, I'm, not, I'm not necessarily recommending this one yet, but I purchased this because I heard Karen from the Two Orchids talk about a recipe that was in here. So the idea behind this cookbook is that um, it's Food 52, which is like a, a food blog. And it's a bunch of food bloggers that like scour the internet, watch all the cooking shows, the Instagrammers, like they just look for all of the craziest recipes that are like so crazy that they could just be good or whatever. And they compile it all in one book. So I'm really excited about it. Um, but they talked about a spaghetti sauce, um, or she talked about a spaghetti sauce on her channel that was in this book. And it's basically like um, tomatoes with an, a half an onion, just cut in half and throw it in the pot. And um, it was three ingredients. It was tomato sauce, a half an onion, and something else. If you know, put it down in the comments below, but it's three ingredients, tomato, tomato sauce. Italian people supposedly say it's like the best Italian sauce. I'm curious to try it. I thought it sounded like an interesting concept for a book. So I ordered this off of Amazon and I'm really excited to like dig into it and try some of these recipes. So I've been loving this one. And then um, I've also been loving um, okay, so there's a show on PBS that used to be on, but you can still find it on the channel or like Amazon Prime called A Chef's Life. And um, it's a super good show. She has a cookbook that I've been loving that I got for Christmas like a year, year and a half ago. And um, anyway, so just like all the cookbooks. Those are the ones, the Magnolia Homes and then um, the gal from A Chef's Life. Those are the cookbooks I would recommend. So on that note, um, a Chef's Life is a show I would recommend on PBS, as well as, let me look at my list here. I made a list of all my favorites. Um, some YouTube channels that I've been watching. So, okay. Keep Your Daydream, or KYD. It's a family who are from Arizona, and several years ago they decided to sell their home, purchase an RV, and travel around the country with their three children. And at the time they were only gonna go for six months, but they've pretty much been on the road since then. And um, they are great. My husband and I discovered their channel like last summer, um, watched all the seasons, and then just during this quarantine, we've kind of gone back and rewatched a lot of their, um, their episodes. They call them seasons. 
And uh, we had been thinking about getting a camping trailer last summer, and they're kind of the ones that like inspired us to just do it because we have young boys and we wanted to be proactive about having adventures with them. And anyway, look them up. They're just such a cute family. Their kids have grown up a lot now, so they really they have like two college students and a, I think he's in high school, probably a freshman. But um, you can go back and watch their earlier seasons as well. They're wonderful. So keep your daydream. I'll link them below. Um, as well as Less Junk, More Journey. It's another family that's a full-time RV or family. We are not planning to go RVing full-time. That's totally just not for us. Um, but I just love watching them and all the adventures that they get into. So that is another favorite. Um, TikTok. So probably you have watched TikTok, but if you're like me, I didn't download the app until like a month ago. And it's just, it's so much fun to watch and it's hysterical. And I just think it's so cool that all of these people have been stuck at home and just are doing these hysterical things and recording themselves and putting them out online for everybody to see. So I've been really enjoying TikTok and watching those videos that people make. Um, my Starbucks drink. So we have a Starbucks pretty close to us. Um, and so we've been treating ourselves to Starbucks a couple times a week. But I love their peach green tea iced with just one pump of their um, like simple syrup. So good, so refreshing for hot days. And what else? I just loved the rhythm of being home and having a little slower mornings, like not having to rush out of the house to get my little guy to preschool to then get to work by eight, but just be able to, you know, snuggle my boy until 15 minutes before my conference call starts first thing in the morning and then put some makeup on throw one of those cardigans on and get going um another thing that i've been loving is fab fit fun so for <coughs> my birthday which was in april my husband um subscribed to the fab fit fun subscription for a year for me and of course it's been around forever and I've seen people do unboxings, but I've never subscribed to it. I've done all kinds of other subscription services, but I love it, it's so good. I'm actually gonna do a video after this on the two boxes I've gotten so far. Such a good subscription. It's like $40 a month, or if you do the year, you save some money and um, you just get really good stuff and totally way more than you pay for um, in that subscription service. So I would definitely recommend that. And then, I think the last thing I wanted to talk about, um, actually two things. So when I was talking about the Chef's Life um, cooking show, the woman also now has a new cooking show called Somewhere South on PBS. And so uh, you can find that, <coughs> excuse me, and watch it. It's great as well. We just love her. If you're into cooking shows, check it out. Oh, lastly, the last thing I wanted to mention, it's my favorite was the recent launch of the Crew Dragon from SpaceX. It happened, what was that, Saturday? It's Tuesday today. So it was like the 30th, I think, of May. And um, it was so cool to watch. So go to the SpaceX YouTube channel. I'll also try to link them below. And um, watch the launch of that. And also watch like an hour or two of the commentary before. It's so fascinating. So cool um, just to be a part of that and watch it live. I was glued to the TV for like almost an entire day because I wanted to see them dock on the International Space Station. And anyway, it was really cool. Do yourself a favor, go watch it. Um, and yeah, again, I'll link it below. So the last thing I wanted to talk about, this has been a really long video, I've been super chatty, was a fail. So I got this watermelon juice. It's 100% watermelon juice at Costco. It came in a pack of 12, and I thought it would be such a great idea for like watermelon margaritas. It's disgusting. I don't know what I was thinking. I love watermelon, but just the juice without the, the fruit of it is not good at all. So this was a huge fail for me. I'm gonna have to find somebody to give my watermelon juice away to. No good. So that is all from me. Let me know what you have been loving and what's gotten you through this last couple crazy months of quarantine. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe and stick around and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.